By North Dakota standards, it was a huge discovery. In fact, scientists call it mammoth. News.com has learned about what a group of coal miners found while working before dawn on Memorial Day in May. State officials didn't reveal details about the find until Monday, December 18. The state's Department of Mineral Resources reports the workers at Freedom Mine dug up a well-preserved seven-foot-long tusk. It led to more than 20 bones. The miners realized what they had, so the mine roped off the site, the North Dakota DMR said in a statement to KBLY-TV. Geological and historical experts were called. So was the Federal Bureau of Land Management. They determined it was not a complete ancient mammoth skeleton, but a large part of one. Most of the mammoth fossils known from North Dakota are isolated bones and teeth, Clint Boyd with the state's geological survey said. This specimen is one of the most complete mammoth skeletons. Fire TV reports it took more than two weeks to excavate the bones from what once was a stream bed. They pulled out a shoulder blade, ribs, parts of two hips and a tooth. The bones now are under review at the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum. They were moved from the Beulah area southeast to Bismarck in plaster jackets, so none would be damaged. One goal for the researchers will be to determine what sort of species they have. According to News Nation, both woolly mammoths and Colombian mammoths lived in North America long ago. CBS News explained the difference. Woolly mammoths are more like modern African elephants, while Colombian creatures are more like Asian elephants. State officials used the moment to make an argument against the proposed phase-out of fossil fuels, which came up at this month's International Conference on Climate Change. Without coal mining, the skeleton still would be in hiding. The North Dakota Geological Survey holds annual fossil digs across the state. The 2024 events are likely to occur between late June and mid-August. We have many types of fossils, not just dinosaurs, the website promoting the dig says. State officials think North Dakota was filled with mammoths during the Ice Age, but became extinct about 10,000 years ago. Creationists say the extinction happened much sooner, after a global flood. Hot Springs, South Dakota has a mammoth site, which is dedicated to preserving and researching the late Ice Age record. It has a collection of more than 60 mammoths. But mammoths can be anywhere. News reported in November that the jaw of one was discovered in a river in Florida.